Hi, my name is Robbie Samuels. I'm a virtual event design consultant and an executive Zoom producer. And each week I share short videos to help you make better use of Zoom. Today, I'm going to be talking about annotation, polls, and the yes, no feature on Zoom. And also some confusion about when to use each of these options. So I've had presenters tell me they really want to use whiteboard. And I always inquire, is this going to be a one-time activity? Or are you going to be using whiteboard over the course of a day or multiple sessions? The reason is that most participants have not used the whiteboard. So the first time they're given the opportunity to annotate, whether that's to draw on the whiteboard, stamp on the whiteboard, or perhaps do the same things on a PowerPoint or PDF or website that's being shared. Well, the first time they get their hands on it, they're like, <laughs> they're like toddlers with crayons. And uh, it takes a few minutes to settle them down and get them focused. So often what I'm you know, told by a presenter is they want to give their participants the opportunity to choose three of some number of items. So that could very easily be turned into a poll question. So there's two options when you're setting up a poll. You can set up a poll at zoom.us for that particular meeting with where, uh, where they choose one answer or where they can choose more than one answer. So if you wanted them to choose their top three from a list of 10 items, then you can set up a poll that, that gave those instructions and had that ability. And then sometimes I've been given polls uh, questions where the answers are essentially yes or no. And I say, that's not really a poll. That could be much better used with the yes, no feature that is found on the bottom of the participant window next to the raised hand option. Now, you have to turn that on. That is called nonverbal feedback. And it's a, it's a setting at the zoom.us setting section. But if you have a yes, no question, the wonderful part is you don't have to set this up in advance. You, as long as you have that feature enabled, you can always, in the middle of a conversation with your participants, say, hey, here's a question for you. Go to the yes, no, and let me know. And you will see the tally of who, how many people answered yes, how many people answered no right away as the, in live time as they're choosing. It takes a lot less time than a poll. So those are three options. Like if you're, if you're going to be using annotating uh, and that feature, then make sure it's for longer than just a one-time activity. If um, if you are doing a poll, make sure that it's not a yes/no answer because they can always use the yes/no feature. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.